Hey, you're at Steve Morris Engines. I'm going to show you our newest, latest, and greatest. This is our new hub dyno. Now, a lot of you guys know what hub dynos are. Uh, some of you don't, so I'm going to explain it and explain the difference of what we're doing now to what we were doing. Now, this is Clark uh, Rosentingle's car. Uh, big horsepower deal. It's got one of my SMXs in it uh, on gasoline. Clark uses this car for standing mile, drag racing, standing half mile, drag week, uh, street driver, whole deal. So we are always trying to test and it does so many things uh, at different events with different setups that it is, it is tough. Sometimes it is just tough to sort everything all out, especially at standing mile type events where we're trying to... Uh, Trying to do something totally different, and you and you have, uh, we literally will wait ten hours for two passes, and uh, it's just it's crazy. So, anyways, the hub dyno. If you are doing any kind of chassis dyno work, you're strapping the car down. You got tires on this roller. The roller's knurled. Maybe you see videos with uh, the tires spinning or whatever, all that kind of crap absolutely no slippage because this is a mechanical connection directly to these uh, 5,500 pound pods Dynocom calls them and uh, one on each side so these are these are movable here take the wheels and tires off hook up directly to the axle ie the hub dyno but what you're gonna see here in just one minute after I I'll close the hood and then we'll make a pull on this thing is exactly how awesome this is because one of the primary things that we can do that I'm really excited about is you will see this car go up on the trans brake and leave under full power shift gears and go out the back end just like it does in a, going down the track now we can vary the loads, we can do a lot of stuff like that. We can also, now, that, now to be perfectly clear, you don't usually, you're, you're not going to do uh, end tuning, you're like your end tune, uh, maximum horsepower, uh, leaving off the trans brake shifting gears. Uh, that would be your normal roll on uh, test where you're um, heavier load, steady load all the way through one complete RPM range. But what this is doing, uh, and we do do that on this, same thing, so we're gonna do it. But uh, what I really wanna show you is the different thing that you can do on this, which is leave off the trans brake. This thing is totally freaking awesome. Um, you can see the whole thing is just sitting up there suspended. And when we can do that, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna see in the graph. I'm gonna show you all this stuff and uh, how much time you're gonna save. We can make, uh, I don't know, a pass. We could probably make a pass, a change, uh, every five, 10 minutes. I mean, versus trying to go to the track and go, oh crap, uh, something's wrong with the trans brake. Oh crap, oh, it didn't shift right. Oh crap, it didn't do this right. Oh, it didn't do that right. Uh, whatever, I mean, just all the way down the realm of stuff. Um, you know, it doesn't come up on a two-step, uh, doesn't build boost doesn't do all that stuff. We can figure all that out right here on the hub dyno. So, uh, super cool. Uh, I will show you all the graphing, uh, everything that goes along with it there. And then, after we're done with this, we sort everything out. We make sure everything's working. Timing curves are working, launch curves, uh, the, all the, uh, the, um, the dump valves for transmission. Everything's engaging, everything's activating appropriately. Not trying to be the, the max and make the, the super horsepower of the world uh, we're just making sure everything works then we'll come into it do our normal pull you know high gear all the way through the rpm range graph all the way up and work on any kind of tuning issues that we need to do uh, like that but we're going to put the camera down i'm going to shoot this video and uh, make sure you're listening to this thing because it is pretty freaking cool to see this car sitting right there on the trans brake on the two-step launching shifting everything automatic it's, it's doing everything like it was supposed to do going down track
let's go look at the info and I'm gonna show you some pretty cool stuff here so this is the dyno graph that I just printed out I let go of the trans brake here so kind of have to disregard you disregard this this is just a big spike run up on the on the torque right up here uh, so I'm not really all that concerned about it because we're not when we do this kind of pull off trans brake we're not hunting around for the max power numbers we're not hunting around for the perfect tune we're trying to verify that everything is working properly that everything is right and I'll show you that on a data logger uh, on the car because it's really quite cool but you can see we'll let go of the trans brake here we uh, this is the one two gear change the two three gear change and this is running out the back door you can hear how long a pull that was that was uh, six seconds uh, from the release of trans brake so this car uh, obviously it's maybe a little bit fast but really don't care uh, I can slow that down some more but here's the other really cool part for you. So we can see how much horsepower I made. I mean, this is in a low boost form. We'll see what it made for boost. I, I'm not leaning on this super hard to do this because like I said, what we're doing here is we're verifying everything works. And I'll show you that on the data log over here. And uh, that was uh, 1725 right up there. Uh, 1725 horsepower. And like I said, this is low boost uh, for this car. I mean, uh, we make uh, uh, 30 pounds of boost on this car on gasoline and uh, obviously on methanol we can make more on it I mean, we can make it about the 40s even 50 pounds of boost but uh, 60 pounds of boost the 70 to 80 90 pounds of boost whatever on the SMX engines but here is what I'm really interested in too now this is the data log from the pull that we the pass pull whatever you want to call it that we just made now isn't that pretty cool because here we are on the trans brake here's our timing curve that we normally run in a car here's our drive shaft curve here's our rpms here's our gear change bing bing and then running out the back door so i can look at all of our stuff all the way through here Here's our TPS, and uh, the truth, I always do, I've, every pull so far I've done this, I have a little flinch that uh, it just, it feels awkward to just release the trans brake sitting here in the car like that, wide open throttle, but you get used to it. Um, so you can see everything going on here, it was uh, 8,700 RPM there at the top end, and uh, oh, what was it? Uh, Drive shaft speed, yeah, 206, 211, yeah, 211 miles an hour right there. So I can verify it makes a shift. I can look at, uh, we can look through at uh, slippage in a converter because, like I said, here's our drive shaft speed. So we can look at our converter, we can look at is everything working the timing control it comes up on two-step it leaves it had runs through our timing curve everything is working in order to take this thing to the track so uh, and we can start working on tune through here too but uh, as we'll show uh, in other videos uh, you know we'll just do regular uh, roll-on pulls where we're going for max horsepower and working on the tune through the whole curve through a single RPM curve but this is verifying that the car and all the electronics are all working so we can look at dump valves we can look at all this stuff uh, the easy stage I mean I, we were verifying our easy stage is working it wasn't working got it all working now uh, so we're looking at our charge pressure um, you know so charge pressure is looking crazy all through there you know so we're just able to do a ton uh, when we do it on here and then we can start sorting that stuff out and then start sorting the tune out uh, Just to verify what we've already done. So super cool um, If you are uh, and obviously th this car um, Makes a lot of bean, but um, You know, it's uh, we can make more we can do more and uh, we will be doing more 
but this is a excellent excellent way of saving a lot of time at the track figuring out a lot of stuff so and stuff that you cannot do because you are not doing that pull right there ever in your wildest freaking dreams with a tire tire dyno not happening can't so anyways super cool uh super happy with everything and look forward to doing more and more and more uh on our new hub dyno